What's going on guys? Uh, it's Jake of Upfast Games again, and this is uh, Broken Age Part 6, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we just pretty much saw Shay die, I think. I'm not sure, but he, well, he probably isn't dead, he's just, I don't know. It's a cliffhanger. They'll, they'll figure out some way to keep him alive in the next part, I suppose. Um, so, uh, wait. She said that these were too big for her, and they do... Okay, let me just try something. I think I know how to... Oh, holy fuck, that actually worked. Carl was right. Oh my god. I am grateful for these shoes. That's amazing. Well, let me... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Hey, bird, you're a jerk. There we go. And I think that, yeah, this would, this should work. Big deal, bird. Like, I even need hooks now. Aha! Solid as a rock. Peekaboo. That's right. It's me, your worst nightmare. Hey, come back here and get your come up and on Fuck you, bird. Don't come back until you get some pants. Okay. Fantastic. So I have the third golden egg now, so I can bring it back to uh uh that offering area where there's already two golden eggs. So that's great. Things are looking pretty good right now. Yep, okay, so let's put this last golden egg in here. Please And I'm guessing that'll cause us to drop. Enlightening. Um, hang on. Before you get on that ladder, I need to think about this cloud's weight limits. Okay, so I guess I get on the ladder then. Bombs away! Hang on. Don't move. Bombs? Uh My balls. No. Oh God, it's happening. They're coming. Okay, then. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, pretty. I like how shiny the sun is. Well, you just broke it. So, good job. Calm down, lumberjack. Hi. Listen! I'm sorry! I didn't know you had feelings, okay? I do have feelings, but you didn't hurt them. That old spruce thing. Or maybe... Hey. Who are you? God. My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry. I... thought you were a tree. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut You're down a trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults. Like really over the line type stuff. You have a so small rough. dick. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? A weapon to kill Mogchathra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about... A nice three-legged stool? Hmm. Yeah. 
I haven't done a stool in so long. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. I have some wood, but I'm Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? It's an erection joke. Uh, yeah, that's it. A tree fell on your roof. That's cool. Did you guys get it? I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Will you help me kill Magchatra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Magchatra with that? Oh, well... <laughs> No. I really don't think anything could kill Magchathra. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. This guy's weird. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, so I have uh, that thing. Whatever the fuck that does. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. Hmm, this guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Okay. Let's go over there and see if there's something I can... Nope, I guess not. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm, they don't seem too chatty to me. It's because Curtis is a psychopath. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. I, I don't know. I feel like I should hear what it has to say first. Hmm. Do I want to help this tree talk or not? Let's find something to help it talk. Maybe cut its Hello, mouth open? Oh, shell mound. Looks like Mog Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. I don't know. What can I get? There's something over here? I guess not. Hold on a sec. Um, I'm gonna see if the, I'm supposed to give this guy... Hi. Hey, Bella. Catch you later. Alright, hold on. Hey, the sun part, um, fell out when I walked by. Man, I guess the heavy crystal I used for the sun needs a thicker lead around it. Just put it back up there and I'll fix it later. That's it? Alright. I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't do that. I'll put it back just as soon as I'm done with it. Okay, wait, no, 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 go back. What's in here? Uh, um, what? Oh, no, go back down. Oh, I think I killed that dude. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, fine. We'll go to the, uh... Whatever the fuck the place is called. And, um, I'll talk to the tree when I figure out how to talk to him. Shut up. You sound stupid. Hey, 
Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Because you look like a mayor. Mmm. I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people. For now. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I have it? Certainly not. It's an integral part of my soon-to-be mayor look. Um. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Well, you're gonna be a dick. Are you saying I smell bad? No, oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds, with a hint of fresh pine. But that's just the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshal ship has washed them all away. When is Mog Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute! So much to do! Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks terrible on you. Might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist? Or a girl wearing half a dress? God damn it. Alright, something hey. else? About your bucket hat. What? What about it? Uh. Can I please? Okay, that didn't work either. Hey, it looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a hmm. man of the people. Okay. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away. Yay! Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Good. Fuck that bitch. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Watch out for the crosswind. I don't see how the bucket could help, but let's just try it out and see if that gets helps the uh the mumbler to talk. I feel like I should hear what it has to say. No, nope. all right, fuck it. We have one like that back home, for making upside down cakes. Can you hear me up there? The fuck is... ugh, gross. Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. Let's cut this ribbon already. You tell them, non-maiden! The ribbon is there for your protection! The arena is still under construction! Hmm. Wait for the tide! Hi! You maidens getting ready for the maiden's feast? Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. 
How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody going to miss those hooks? Not as much as they're going to miss us. You're going to make me cry, girl. <laughs> I want to be in the Maiden's Feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. You maidens nervous? Yeah. Nervous that Marshal Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chagra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dads donated so much to his campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. Hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit. Just standing here. See you maidens later. Ciao! Bye, whores. No, no, not like that. A sighted stranger approaches. I sense it as well. Not so fast. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staffs. Oh, yeah. Halt. The dead eye god sees no one. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn. And this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. As if you didn't know. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Because you guys are guarding it, so it must be cool. Oh, it is. Extremely cool. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well... Unless... What? Well... If she could solve the riddle of Yorn... Oh, yeah! If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Shh. No problem. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down. When we are in our prime, devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit, long after I am dead. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. I bet you the tree knows. Who's the dead eye god? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgentol. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more, probably. I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. What's the Battle of Volgentol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm, sounds promising. Did you say you lost your sight? 
Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Okay, so now I have this, whatever the fuck it'll do. Um All right, so what else what else is there? Like I'm not really sure where, sure uh, where else I can go. Maybe I don't know. Come to me, old chum. Really? I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? Fantastic. I'm surprised that actually worked. As much as I would like some chum, I don't think it's smart to carry it around in an open container with those gulls around. Um, let's see. We have one like that back home for making upside down cakes. Oh, maybe I can shoot them with it. Sup, maidens? Hey, are you guys good with riddles? Of course we are. Except the kind where there are words that have like two meanings. Oh yeah, huh. and you think because that's what a riddle thing, is. It actually means the other thing? Yeah, I hate those. It's not like that, is it? Uh, maybe. See you maidens later. Ciao. Okay. I'll shoot you bitches. <laughs> Gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. Is this about the feathers we took for our costumes? You can have them back! Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great. Ow! Great idea. What about me? Ow! I exude it now! She has to save whom she can't. How? I'll tell Mog Chakra about you, Drusilla. Okay, so now I have that. Oh, man. <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. Dang it all. That's time for sure. I think we Marshall Dune? Mm hmm? Uh, let's see. Hey, do you know the answer to the riddle about the pits and rotten bed? What kind of pits are you talking about? Huh. Not sure. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Oh, my, oh, my. Now that is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. Truly monstrous. Now, if there only was going to be a Maiden's Feast. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These Maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Okay, so now I need to figure out how to uh, get that tree to talk. I still have no idea how I can do that, though. Huh. Hold on a sec. Is there any way I can, like... Just, no, what's that? Oh! Okay. There we go. I feel like I should hear what it what? has to say first. Seriously? Nah, that doesn't... I don't think that would make any... I don't think that would make anything useful. How the f... That seems like it would be... Like the only logical I feel conclusion. Like I hear what it has to say first. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. All right, I don't know. I figured that that would have been the logical thing to do.
Hmm. These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. You made it! Yeah. After you took that beast hooker away, they eventually left us alone. Thank you so much, non maiden. See you, maidens, later. Ciao! Watch out for the crosswind. Maybe if I can you give her the again. gun, she thinks it's, uh. No, can maybe I not. Go inside? You wish to invade our. Alright. I don't really. Okay, I don't have the gun anymore, so it doesn't matter. Can I hit them? Does Driftwood ever have chill? I think this bucket is. This pretty window is the solution to. Hmm. Shit. Oh, this one's tough. I don't know. Come on, Clarence. We're running out of time. We have one like that back home for making upside down cakes. Let's cut this ribbon already. The ribbon is there. Hmm. The spot. Nah, that doesn't need a new sun. Especially not a vintage. I don't think driftwood would help there. Better not. I don't think That's so, yeah. That's a good place to hang a ladder. I don't think that would help the arena get built. I don't think that would help the arena get built. I don't think that would help the arena get built. Shut up. I don't think that would help the arena get built. Alright, um... You know what? I'll go ahead and stop the video here, and uh, I'll look around a little bit and try to figure out exactly what to do. So if you enjoyed the video or if it helped you in any way, feel free to like and subscribe and all that, and I'll see you guys next time.